2000. Awesome. Right. Okay. Start over. Thank right. you. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Camp Jeep. This is a 2015 Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. Unlimited just means it's the four-door version, and Sahara is the trim level. Couple bumps in here. We've also got the Wrangler Sport and the Wrangler Rubicon. For other trim level. The Sport is the base trim. Once you get up to the Sahara. About to go up. This is about 30 degrees. We are on four wheel drive low around the whole course. First gear. So there we go. Four wheel drive low lets me hit my max torque at a lower RPM so I can just crawl up this. I'm doing about 1400 RPMs right now. It's not working at all. You can basically go anywhere with this and you can get like a 506 watt sound system so you can be cranking your tunes, enjoying yourself. Alpine, baby. Way down, I can hit my hill descent assist button, take my foot off the brake, it's gonna do all the braking automatically for me. It would be hard to walk down this, correct? It would be, absolutely. And this is this is not the limit of what they're capable of. It's not even close. Much more than that. This one's a little worse than a couple of the bumps I have or potholes in my daily commute. Yeah, so this is gonna be a little bumpy in here. We're gonna, we're gonna gain a gain of 44 half ton air Kind of like the Minneapolis streets. It's got almost 10 inches of ground clearance. If we use that all up, we do have skin plates covering the gas tank, oil pan, and transfer case. Now what's coming up here? This is a 30 degree tilt to the side. So we've got very low uh, center of ground. Can reach out and touch the ground. Can you? <laughs> almost. Last off clear, it's off camera, it's two offset ramps. So it's uneven. Place. Exactly, yeah. And we're not gonna feel much of it, but the suspension's doing all the work outside, flexing different directions. Articulating all the way. Now just about any trail rated Jeep would have had about the same performance, including the, the Cherokee in front of us, the Grand Cherokee, the whole nine yards. Absolutely, yes. If they're trail rated, they can do this course with ease and more. Will the average crossover be able to handle something like that? You know what? I do not know. I've never tried driving anything else but a Jeep over this course, and so I don't think I, I would. If I tried a Toyota, I probably wouldn't have like an exhaust or a gas tank. Hey, who knows? Thank what, you very much. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>